Wagwami well, YouTube family, welcome back to another video. So today we're making for you sorrel puree. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you can be notified when we post the sorrel recipe tomorrow. So don't forget to turn your notification on. So to start this recipe, we have here some sorrel. This is about a pound of sorrel and uh, they removed the seed for us so the sorrel was already prepped and this is how it is looking so before i start preparing my sorrel puree what i like to do and what i always do is uh, to wash my sorrel so i will use this mesh thing here right and i will put my sorrel in and just run it underneath the water because you know sometimes when you go market they some dirt and them something they can depend the sorrel them and things so when you come home you have to wash off the sorrel before you start prepare it right afterwards you want to put on a pot of water and then you place the sorrel into the hot water because the hot water is what is going to allow the sorrel to bleed bring or out that red vibrant color from the petals right and when the sorrel age is richer in color it is better off for our puree so once the sorrel finish draw you can now allow the sorrel to cool right and uh, once you add the sorrel to hot water it's like the sorrel is cooked so it becomes softer so the softer the sorrel the better is it is to be blended and easier on your blender right and this is a very rich sorrel the richer the sorrel the better the puree right look at it very nice and lovely so what we're going to do next is to prepare our sorrel for blending. So the next step is to blend the sorrel petals. So first we're adding the petals and then we're going to go in to pouring some of the sorrel juice into the blender and blend together. We're going to blend until the mixture is smooth. okay so when you're making the sorrel puree you want to add the petals little by little to the blender and then you blend along with adding some of the juice you don't want to just take everything and pour in the blender all at once no you want to add it little by little and blend to see the consistency that you're looking for because look at that sometimes it will be thin and you want to add more petals so you can get it a bit thicker so it's best to add it in portions so don't add everything all at once guys so look at this now so this is very runny so it requires more so i'm going i'm just going to go ahead and add more petals to the blender and then blend it to get it a bit more thicker because you don't want it too watery right okay so after adding the petals into portions we're almost there we reach the consistency that we're looking for right and uh, here is it very rich and uh, vibrant color lovely guys you see all the sorrel rich guys this is a very rich sorrel so look at this now a lot more thicker right so you want to get your sorrel puree thick not too watery guys right
look at this guys our saril puri very vibrant color i do hope you enjoy this recipe a quick and easy saril puree recipe i do hope you enjoy don't forget to hit that thumbs up button show us some love share with a friend comment down below to let me know what you think about this recipe and subscribe if you are new and you haven't yet done so i hope you all have already watched our blended fruit recipe as well as the fruit cake recipe and our sorrel recipe so you can check out all those recipes if you haven't yet done so you can go on over to our channel and check out all our videos and our lovely sorrel puree